One wonders, Martin, when Deli Alley is going to get another big chance at uh, at Tottenham. Because, uh, as reported this morning, I think it was in the Telegraph, Spurs chairman Daniel Levy is still not sanctioning a loan move for Deli Alley to PSG or anywhere else this month over fears uh, that leaving the squad, uh, it would leave the squad short in the event of an injury crisis or indeed, of, of course, a COVID outbreak. Is this Tottenham really having the cake and eating it? Is this unfair no, Deli Alley? I don't see it that way. He, he's their player. You know, they both signed contracts t- together. Uh, they they need the player through what could be a difficult period. I know it looks difficult when the Mourinho doesn't seem to fancy him, doesn't really believe in him. Um, but he if he if he if he needs players in the squad that he can call upon, we know that Delielli can come in and do a, an excellent job. Um, and why should they let him go on loan to PSG? Uh, they'll probably want money for him. He's a major commodity. For Mourinho, he wouldn't want to lose him on loan at this period. So no, I don't, we, you're not going to get compassion from managers and from uh, from owners of football clubs. They've signed these players, and they need them in the group. And for some players, it's a good story, and for some, it isn't. You, you have to accept that as a player. But, but it's I not a good story hope... for him at the moment, Martin. He's not getting, no, he's I, not I, getting I, a single minute of Premier League football. Well, I, I sincerely hope that that changes for him and that he's given some sort of opportunity in, in that football team. But the way that Tottenham play, you can't really see it. They like to sit quite deep, don't they, with two midfield players. It happened to them again in midweek, dropping points again. Um, you know, they go in front in matches. Uh, all credit to Fulham, though. Um, I thought they were magnificent in the way that they're unrecognisable, by the way, from yes. the start of the season. Scotty Parker's doing an amazing job there. Yeah. But nonetheless, that was a game there to be won by Spurs. And they, and they didn't do it. But Deli Ali's in the group um, and he won't be sold or moved on until the Spurs decide. Mm. It won't be Deli Ali that decides when he leaves. So that's the situation. Players, it might look the players have got all the power, but in this situation, I think it's the club who, are, who have got all the cards. The only role he's in that team is, is Ndembele plays in a role, but you, you cannot believe the amount of work that Ndembele does out of possession. And I think that's the problem for Deli Ali that I, Mourinho thinks he can't do that job. Mm. Yes, of course, when he has the ball, that's a different matter. He can be equally as, as good as Ndembele. But when he's underrated, Ndembele, what he does, he, he sits on the deep line midfield player for the opposition. He stops them running. All, and, and the amount of work he gets through, and it's, it's integral to Mourinho's tactics that he likes to employ. So the thing is, he's not, he, doesn't suit it, he doesn't suit the tactics of Mourinho. Of course, there's a... Deli Ali there, there's going to... No, and eventually it will come to pass the end so, of the season. So why probably. not let him but go and let him play? Well, no, hang on a minute. He doesn't, why he not? Does, he, does, he doesn't want to make anybody else better, does he, Mourinho? He wants to keep him in his group to the end of the season, and then he can have an opportunity to sell him for some big money and bring somebody in that he thinks can do a better job. I think in the whole of my football career, I've only ever seen it once where a manager has shown some compassion, looked at a player's career and thought, you know what, he can do better somewhere else, and I'll let him go and do it. And that was Van, Van Persie. When Arsene Wenger, and I'd never have allowed that, he let him go to Manchester United, effectively realising the player couldn't achieve what he wanted to achieve where he was, and he, I think he had eight or nine goes at it, and he let him go to another club to fulfil his, his ambition. But at the, at the you know, basically that, that injured Arsenal in doing that, weakened Arsenal. Yeah. Now that is an amazing gesture from Arsene Wenger. So There's you no think way Wenger Mourinho, was wrong doing that? Absolutely wrong. Well, Let him go. No, 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 no. That's the that's the how big the man was, and he and he had nurtured Van Persie, and he thought, okay, I can't give him what he wants here, and you let him go and fulfil it somewhere else. That's huge. That's huge. But Ben, basically, managers are not going to let you do that. They're not going to let you go somewhere else to actually. I'm not sure can he play in the Champions League if he goes to PSG. So- Deli Ali is in a very difficult situation, but every day he comes in, he has to be strong mentally. And he has to show Mourinho that I'm going to be able to get, get through this. And when I get through it, I'm going to be stronger for it. And there'll be one day, one day, whether it's at this club or somewhere else, I'll prove to you you were wrong. And I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to love every minute of it, proving you wrong. That's what he has to do. But he's on an island. He has to sit on that island and he has to be, he has to be self-supportive. And it isn't easy when you're getting dragged off, when you think you've made the difference in a game, you're getting blamed for everything. Because Mourinho wants to do that. And it is, it is bullying. But it shows the rest of the group. If you step out of line, look how big Deli Ali was and look how cut cut him down. Yeah. It'll be the same for you. So it may be using him as an example, but surely, surely Mourinho can see the qualities 
that the player has as well and he wants to embrace those. Sure. Maybe that's the next step. That's the next step because it's not quite happening for Spurs, is it? They're dropping down the table and they might have to turn to Deli Alley. Yeah. And it'd be interesting if he's in the right frame of mind, if he's still fit, if he's still ready for it, he could make the difference and have the last laugh.